What's good guys, this is your host O34, back at it again with another GOT Unique Pick Showcase. Just like last time, we're gonna go over a Pokemon that was picked only once out of all 128 teams in the GOT. Today we'll look at Kyurem, which was picked by Count Riario of the Amsterdam Amphuros. Kyurem is the Dragon Ice type Boundary Pokemon, currently ranked BL2 in the Smogon meta. It has great stats overall with decent speed at 95, both attack sets at 130 and 125 90 90 bulk. Dragon and Ice gives it incredibly powerful stat moves, uh, it has a few key resistances and also a few troublesome weaknesses. The stats are similar to the extremely powerful and popular Kyurem Black, but it lacks the ability since it has pressure over Terraful. It does keep Kyurem Black's powerful move pool, it only misses a Fusion Bolt and still gets the powerful special moves like Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Focus Blast and Flash Cannon. And even it's harder than Cure and Black on all of these moves since it has 10 more special attack. It also has all the physical moves other than Fusion Bolt, so it does get Iron Head and Outrage, it doesn't hit as hard because it's 130 attack instead of 170, which still is very hard, it's 130 attack, but it's not as hard um, as its Black counterpart. And of course it doesn't get a useful physical Ice type move, which is uh, the same problem that keeps Cure and Black out of the Uber tier. You can imagine Kyurem as a special oriented Kyurem Black, so it can also run similar sets. Uh, spec sets are a little more common because of the large move pool and the high damage. It can also still run the Scarf sets, it can still run the Sub Roof sets, it can still run the Life Orb sets, it can even run a Home Claw set. Kyurem is a highly overlooked Pokemon and functions really similarly to Kyurem Black. It hits less things because it doesn't have Fusion Bolt or Terra Volt, but it hits a little harder on the special side, which is where the move pool shines. And with that, we can move on to the interview. Uh, Count Riario had exams to study for, so I'm just going to read out his answers. And my first question was, why did you pick this Mon? His reply was, I picked the Mon because I wanted a Dragon type to complete my Fairy Dragon Steel type combo, as well as an offensive Mon that can be a mixed attacker, and it's hard to switch into, and it walls bulky water types like Toxapex, and it can pressure stall them. My second question was, are you happy with Kieran's performance? His response was, I'm not too happy with how Kieran performed. Its speed stat is actually good in league format, but my opponents had a lot of base 100s on their team, which Kieran really hates. It only touched the field once, and it did do very well, but the times I didn't bring it, it just didn't fit on his team as well as all of his other mods. My final question was, if this mod got sniped, what would you have gotten instead? His response was, if it had gotten sniped, I would have gone with another mod with an offensive typing, fighting Ice or Dragon. Not too sure what I have my eyes on, I remember I was thinking Heracross because there would have been a Skull switch in instead of Cure. Now let's take a look at the replays, and um, we've only got one replay this week because Kyurem only hit the field once out of all of um, Count Riario's matches. So we've got a, uh, I believe this is week four, Count Riario versus Professor Chipboard. We're actually going to swap the sides uh, when we start this replay. So here we are at turn 21 where the Mega Diancy uh, from Count Riario takes out the Buzzwool in comes the Excadrill from Professor Chipboard, who is going to use, it's going to lift the Earth Power through a Shukaberry, and then get, uses the Earthquake on the Mega Diancy, he goes down. Um, the Kyurem can come in safely since it's not a Scarfed Excadrill. Immediately the Excadrill goes out of the Slow King, expecting the Ice Beam to come out. It does, and it's get, it gets tanked really nicely actually by the Slow King but the poison hurts it a lot from the toxic spikes and then the Z power comes out using the never ending nightmare which was Z shadow claw so it just outright kills the uh, infested slow king the Staraptor comes out and which forces the Kyurem to go back out again in a similar fashion the Mold Breaker Excadrill takes out the Bronzong and the Kyurem comes back in and there are no switch ins anymore uh, for the Ice Beam so it goes down, and then the Gudra comes in. This is actually a Scarf Gudra, so it will take out the Kyurem, which will leave Mian Xiao to clean up the game. That's going to be it for today's episode. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.